Here we have a simple GraphQL server with Express.js and the GraphQL tool schema package. If we load the server in Graphical on port 4000, here we have a query to fetch all of our posts. And if we fetch the post ID title, we can also pass the related ID and title of the post and we can recursively follow this down to an infinite depth. While the resolvers for our post relations are local, if we were querying the database, this could cause significant strain. However, as we've seen in other videos, there are libraries to help with this, such as data loader, but this still will cause some computation time if we are running this query, even on a database. So let's look at a way that we can get around this in Express GraphQL with a package for query depth limiting. First, let's install GraphQL depth limit. And inside of our server file, we'll require that new dependency as depth limit. Then where we invoke the middleware, for GraphQL HTTP, we can pass a validation rule to the GraphQL Express package. This accepts an array, so we'll pass in the depth limit function, and then we'll pass two, which is the maximum depth limit. And you can see if we go to the graphical playground and we change the depth limit and run the query, you'll see that the error returned to us will tell us what depth it's at. Fragments and inline fragments don't actually increase the depth, so you're able to continue to use those so if we update our query to spread in the fragment, name post. You'll see here if we correct the depth limit that will be successfully executed. And if we merge and spread in the fragments, you'll see here that that also works and doesn't count towards the depth limit. Finally, there could be cases where you want to ignore any validation rules for depth limiting. So with the package that we installed, we can pass an array of options that we can ignore. And in this case, we'll ignore the query related. And if we go back and we extend the query to nest another relation here, this query will be successfully executed.